Hi everyone, welcome to The Grace Life. So in this video today, we have a special collaboration with The Heaven's Pearls and the members are DIY Design by CCW, Glam Queen of DIY, Love is the Main Key, Levels of Style with Sandra, Jazzy Green Decor Style, Design and Style with Stacy, Debbie Bubbles, Designer's Loft, and The Grace Life DIY Home Decor. So for the month of August, we are focusing on redemption. And the scripture reference is Ephesians 1, 7, but it's also the scripture of your choice. So let's jump into this video. I'm really excited. So before we jump into this video, I'm going to be linking the Heaven's Pearls members, their channels down below, along with the playlist. So please head on over there, full watch the video, subscribe to our channels, and let's get into the topic, redemption. So redemption. Everyone is in need of redemption. Our natural condition was characterized by guilt. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And that's written in Romans 3, 23. Christ's redemption has freed us from guilt, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. And that's in Romans 3, 24. So let's take a quick look at the benefits of redemption and what it includes. So eternal life. Forgiveness of sins, that's in Ephesians 1.7. It includes righteousness, which is Romans 5.17. Freedom from the lost curse, Galatians 3.13. Adoption into God's family, deliverance from sin's bondage. Peace with God and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, that's 1 Corinthians 6.19-20. through 20. To be redeemed then is to be forgiven, holy, justified, free, adopted and reconcile. Amen. <laughs> the word redeem means to buy out. And the term was used specifically in a reference to the purchase of a slave's freedom. The application of this term to Christ's death on the cross is quite telling. If we are redeemed, then our prior condition was one of slavery. God has purchased our freedom, and we are no longer in bondage to sin or to the Old Testament law. Metaphorically, redemption is the teaching of Galatians 3.13 and 4.5. So related to the Christian concept of redemption is the word ransom. I love that word. <laughs> Jesus paid the price for our release from sin and its punishment. And that's in Matthew 20:28 20, and 1 Timothy 2:6. His death was in exchange for our life. In fact, scripture is quite clear that redemption is only possible through his blood. That is by his death. And that's in Colossians 1:14. So what are we going to see when we get to heaven? Those streets are going to be filled with former captives who through no merit of their own found themselves redeemed, forgiven, and free. Slaves to sin have become saints. No wonder we sing a new song, a song of praise to the Redeemer who was slain, Revelation 5.9. We were slaves to sin, condemned to eternal separation from God. Jesus paid the price to redeem us, resulting in our freedom from slavery to sin and our rescue from the eternal consequences of that sin. Isn't that something to praise God about? Amen. So now what we're going to do is go back into the video. Let's see what we're doing here. So now we are going to place that foam inside of that, um, that planter. And then we're going to start arranging our flowers and putting everything together. Let's jump into the video and take a look at what we're creating. So here, as you can see, we'll be using that ribbon, that beige ribbon. We'll be using these chalkboard tags, that nautical rope in the background. And so now let's place all this stuff together.
So I want to take a moment right now to thank uh, the Heavens Pearls and all of its members for the opportunity to upload a video on redemption. I thank you and I really enjoyed myself and I love the word of God. One thing I love about putting arrangements together is I don't like to be skimpy with my flowers. I like my arrangements to be full and I'm really loving how this looks. I also like stepping out of what I normally create. So if I'm focusing a lot on glam, sometimes I will take a break and do something different and farmhouse would be the next thing. Here we're putting the last touches on the, um, the arrangement. So we're gonna go ahead and attach that bow, finish off the embellishment, and then we're gonna move on to the reveal.
I do hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And so if you like the video, click like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget uh, to click that notification bell so that you can get notified every single time I upload a video. Also, don't forget to head over to the channels and watch everyone on the group, including the playlist. I'll see you in the next video.